should be live. We are live. Not bad, you do. I'm not sure if it's working on the thingy. Okay. something different for Friday. Is that your iPad? That's my iPad, yes. The one that I spent a day and a half putting passcodes into. Sure. Yeah, that one. I'm just deciding whether or not I'm friends with it yet. I was a bit, tra bit traumatised after all that. So you don't need my, my cell phone? Well, I've got a touch of power left on my phone. <laughs> I might need it as backup. I don't know. Goodness gracious. Oh. What a day. So it is obviously Friday. We've had an interesting Friday. We have had an interesting Friday. How are you making out with, with going on Sunday to look at puppies? And looking out. Mm -hmm. Janine's going to drive the interstate. Who she? I'm oh, good. Then I'm not going. Not unless you want to ride on the roof. Since we've only, since we've only got, well, we've only, well, the problem is money. Yes. Are we supposed to take cash? Yes. So we got to come up with cash. So we're going to fleece you for money before we go. I don't have that much. Well, we go to the bank. I got to go to the bank. Yeah. Yeah. Either that will beat you up. Right. Get, well, we'll let you go round your seat. Find There's only so much you can get on a day out of the bank. That, but if we go in, you can take out whatever you've got in your account. Well, if I go there. Yeah, we'll drag you in. Well, uh, yeah. The last day I offered, the last time I offered the wavy to come out and see you in the car. <laughs> well, that's what Janine's on that account of mine. All right, so that's fine. So she can take it out. That that will that will work. We'll get. Oh, she, she can drain it. <laughs> no, no trouble. Yeah, you be careful. She doesn't be lifting for 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 breakfast and lunch I know. and dinner and things like that. I yeah. just got a message. She's over at Old Walsh Show City in the morning. Yes. But it was yesterday. I think that one applies to today as well. <laughs> as far as I'm aware. Right. Old Walsh was here helping today. He was. He was uh, helping with the demolition of the porch. I was there to watch that whole porch. Did you see it come I saw that. Do you know, I was about to go over and say, oh, do you want a glass of water? And I'm glad I didn't wander over. <laughs> because... Yeah. Because I got such a shock when it just hit the ground. I know it did. You know, that was Wallace. Wallace was on the roof. Yeah. It was. Um, it was spectacular. Yeah, quite quite the thing. So it's so the the, the porch that uh, the tree hit was just taken off because it. Um, it wasn't worth fixing. No, no. So we're uh, going to be repairing the deck part of it, and then that that's worth fixing. But the other part. Was felt was um we're trying it this way let's say we're trying it this way it's always, it's always good to try things isn't it um so you were out and about this morning yes in your car i was i am reading that book oh, it, in the car in the car i put it on the steering wheel oh it, mm -hmm. that book is that fascinating to me at any rate yeah and then um uh, Ryan came along. Yes. So we stopped and we chatted about that for a while, not realizing I had a car behind me. Um, so we talked about that for a while. And, you know, it, that, that, that's an interesting book. Oh, and does he know anything about this? Is about Larky and his his habit of sticking his nose in armpits of people who tend to have blood sugar that's out of control yeah. and on a diabetic -y sort of way. And uh, does he have any thoughts about that, Dr. Carrick? Oh yeah, I mean it is a real thing. Yeah, it's a real thing. But now I've got to, I've got to find a group that does it, so, so I don't screw up the dog. You know, because for a while, he's shoving his head in somebody's armpit. I'm saying, don't do that. You know. I know. You know, and that was a bad thing. So now I've got to reinforce it. Um, it's it's very complicated. He's actually quite choosy. Huh? He's quite choosy. Yeah. Because even when he's coming over just to see you, because he's pleased to see you, he doesn't shove his nose right in your armpit. He, he, you know, he, he's on your arm and he wants attention and that sort of thing. But when he's when he's focused on you, he needs 
and sweets. He eats crickets, doesn't he? I, he is. There are times when he's, he's right on. Yeah. Apparently, he's slobbered all over somebody. Yes. <laughs> At the daycare center, going back and forth from one of they got all over the place. <laughs> but they apparently didn't know when they were diabetic. Right. And they are. I mean, it, you know, it seems to be that's the case. Yeah. There is ones where she said, I'm not diabetic, but I am immune deficiency. Right. Right. So maybe there's a change in the blood. I don't know. Components. I don't know. I thought that was interesting, but at any rate, right, we, on we go. It's definitely. Uh, but I should, I should get in contact with somebody who knows what they're doing because my guess is somebody would like to see what, yeah, Larky's doing. Yes. Yeah, because he's very, very consistent. Yeah. The mollusk came first thing this morning, so he in in the middle of a big range range storm, and uh, so he got up on the roof as well as likes to do. And he stripped off all the roofing tiles and the, yeah. um, the under layers. I was watching him. Yeah. From my book writing, you know, door. Yeah. And then Jane and Olaf came. Nick went on a conference call. Don't blame him. <laughs> he was working. And uh, so the roof is the roof is off the porch. Yes. Yeah. Interesting. The roof is off the porch, and the porch is off the house. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Are you? Are they saying with those? Or well, there's some beams that are up there. You know, they're the rough hewn beams. So yeah. I think we should save those because those are the sorts of things that if we need to replace on the outside of any yeah. of either this house or that house, yeah. it's good to have them stock. And I think they're expensive to buy, right. so they would be handy to keep. And uh, but the rest of it, um, we've had something that's been eating. It's been a what? It's been having a nibble. Oh, okay. Whatever. Yeah, quite, quite, quite efficiently, I might add as well, the little so and so's. Really? Mm. Because they're supposed to be cedar. Mm. Well, whatever it is, they like it. They like it. And they'd like to say thank you. <laughs> it's probably rats or something, no? I don't know, because it was in the uprights of the, um, the wall at the front. So the uprights where the wall, we, I wondered if it had been water sitting on it, but then there was bits up in the in the top as well, but it did not touch the great big logs that yeah. were in the roof. Just the, just the, yeah. maybe it's the chemicals and, and whatever it is. <laughs> it ain't falling down. No, no. It is now though. But that was, that was quite spectacular, it wasn't was. it? So, so that was good. That was a very busy day. And uh, now we'll have to jet spray everything. He's like chewing up. Okay. And, uh, and we had Dr. Parrot here today, and Dr. Parrot came to see three animals. Um, he came to see Angus. Why? Well, he checked his heart, he did his four months checkup, and he is absolutely stunning. Isn't that wonderful? Well, he is stunning, but we knew that. Okay. Um, so he's a good weight, he's doing everything he should in the books, and obviously he's the, the, the most handsome baby donkey going because I knew that's what Dr. Parrot wanted to say. I see, okay. Um, he also had a look at flour and flour without doing the blood tests, which we have found to be completely and utterly unreliable for pregnancy. Um, and they charge us for it. Well, they charge us for it as well, but we've also found that we've been sitting waiting for a baby that's never appeared after a blood test. Yeah. Um, I, I, think it's, I don't think it's a I don't think you should do it. No, so we didn't. So by sight and the fact that when you look down her spine, her her roundness isn't symmetrical. So she's slightly rounder on the right hand side than she is on the left hand side. And some other days she's rounder on one the other side of it. So he also uh, went to her hip joint, he pushed up a few times and something kicked back at him. So she's She's suggesting that there's a really high chance that she is pregnant, and she does look that way, doesn't she? I don't know. Yeah. So hey, I've been fooled so many times. Yep. Yeah, so we'll, that's why I'm saying. Yeah. We're just when they got watch. four feet on the ground, they had a baby. Yes. So the 
thing about her is she came in from South Carolina. She just had a foal, and it had been weaned, we think. And so whatever has happened, because they, they go into they go into heat straight after giving birth anyway. Indeed. Yeah. So it's uh, happened not here, <laughs> which is a relief. And uh, whatever's happened has been in um, South Carolina. So if we've got a foal, we've got a foal. Might have a mule, we never can tell. Never can tell. No, no, because. Yeah. yeah, so we'll have to keep an eye on her, but that's quite exciting. And um, we had a really good long discussion and look at, at Wilbur, you know, our little our pony, oh. the one that does visits down here. Yeah. And uh, so his feet are not actually causing him pain. Uh, I should really try and find the photos of when we first brought him, um, and you'll see that he was resting on his heels, the overgrown feet were up in the air, and the tendons at the back of his legs were stretched on all four legs. Um, and he was the pony that we were going to euthanize because we just couldn't think about it. He looked terrible. And he, his body score was yuck, and he just he looked like a really ill, very depressed, very upset pony. So when the vet checked him down at Pennsylvania, at the, at the auction, he said there's, you know, you could potentially try and work him through um, if you want to hold off euthanizing him. So, of course, being the soft hearts that we are, we said, okay, so what we'll do is we'll pay for, we'll pay for 30 days um, of quarantine down in Pennsylvania, which was provided expertly by Nancy Diaz, because she's wonderful um, and very caring, and we had his feet started on a trimming program. So... We got him to the stage after the quarantine, he was stable enough to be uh, transported up and he came up to us and we slowly but surely, we've kept the feet going, we've been keeping an eye on his um, his, his whole demeanour and, and what he's looking like. And I think that what Janine and I have always considered is the fact that he's probably Cushing's. Um, Cushing's. Cushing's. Yeah, because he looks like Cushing's. Cushing's is a pituitary... Uh, gland issue, it's, a, it's very often a, a benign, benign tumour in the pituitary and it controls the amount of cortisol. So it, what? it controls, the, the, the pituitary controls, it's a, a cortisol imbalance um, and because it's got this, um, this tumour that sits in there, what it does is it produces cortisol, 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 cortisol. So they're in a sort of stress situation um, and, and that's, how that, that's how that imbalance Excursions come comes into play. So what you get is they don't shed their coat. He's the hairiest little teddy bear boy. Um, they ver they're very quick to founder, which is laminitis. They um, they're either very thirsty. They 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 sweat. They don't retain uh, heat in the winter. And he lo very much looks like a Cushing's um, animal. So Doctor uh, Doctor Parrot. Um, he, he drew blood and we'll get that result back to see where we're at with that but the good thing is I think what Janine and I were most worried about was you know he's so slow when he walks we were worried that he was in excessive pain and Dr. Parrott's opinion which we always you know we agree with is that he has, he has four feet under where they should be in his body they're not out of he's not but that you know that's the family that's problem. that no and he's and he's walking he's he his feet have are obviously in a healing cycle yeah. um he when you lift his feet there's actually they've grown not only have they grown up and out they've grown under and up so that's still in a trimming process so his feet are not the happiest feet but they're not causing him abject pain um that, which is the important thing so he says that he's actually looking far better than what he'd expected, and he has seen him before, so that's good. And I think what we'll do is we'll just keep him. He's on a special diet. He has um, he has uh, alfalfa pellets, and he has balancer because he can't have anything sugary because it knocks him it knocks him off into founder. Okay. So he's actually he's actually in far better shape than <laughs> than I think we thought, which is a relief. 
So we'll have a programme, um, if it is Christians, we'll have a programme. He said he's not in a position where he needs to be put to sleep. That's all we needed to know. Um, and he's not in pain. So that's lovely. So we'll take that from there and keep bothering with him. And he has to go out for walks. Because it's so difficult. You know when he's so, he looks so painful on his feet, you really just think, oh gosh, please one more step. And then you think, no. And then I thought, you know, but it moves all those joints. It keeps mm-hmm. everything moving. So I said to Dr. Parrott, I said, I do tend to take him out just for a small walk. And he said, it's actually good. He said, because it keeps the joints moving freely. I, I know about that stuff. <laughs> do you want to walk him? <laughs> he's not oh, fast, oh. I can tell you. <laughs> so, uh, so that was you. Oh, look at this. The close up of Laura P. Lovely. So, so that was really good. So I'm, I'm, I'm delighted about that. So we'll get the results and we'll move on forward. And this is still a little bit sore. What? I'm not just getting there. I'm going to look at that in a minute. I'll tell you about that in a sec. Um, so that was a good day with the vet. Good. Yes. And then he came up to admire uh, everybody's handy work on the deck. <laughs> and I uh, had a long conversation with you about Larky in the driveway. Right. So. He's a good boy. Yeah, he's a good boy. But you, but you said he, he is can't be in the way of the camera all the time. Oh dear. You're a good boy. Get out of here. You've had dinner. So, boy. here we go. Off you go. Thank you very much, young man. So, anything else you can think of that's exciting? <sighs> No, it's a, this dog that we're looking at now, mm-hmm. this would not be what I consider the cardboard box dog. No, it's not. It's your, your dog. This will be my dog. Mm-hmm. Um, and that does not eliminate our need for the cardboard box dog. No. So that still is available. Uh, and Bella is doing great with what she's got with that one. Yeah. I d- I'm, I'm just real pleased with the whole project. And is she going to keep the ZT or what? I don't know. You don't know. We're still I don't know. I talked to her mother about it. I said, you're welcome. To your mother said, we're waiting for you to decide. I said, well, don't wait for me. No. <laughs> no, I said, it's totally up to you. Totally up to you. So that's where we stand on that one. Is Bella in college at the moment? I don't know that either. Because if we do jobs down in Woburn, maybe she would be interested in joining the ZT. I don't know. Larky, your mummy can't be seen because you're right in the way. Honestly, what boy? A hooky. Go to bed. Yes, bed, bed. Bed. I'll go to lie down. Go well, lie down. down. I suppose. Um, it's the AC that's dripping again. That's what the noise is. Is it dripping the noise? It's obviously not bothering you, so it's fine. You can hear it, uh, you can hear it end there. Good. Yes. Although I have, I think I'm noticing that if I, the longer I wear that, mm-hmm. the, um, I'm, I'm uh, hearing a little better. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, that's good. Um, so you're not safe whispering. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think we whisper any longer because Nick keeps saying that I speak in an exceptionally loud voice. I said I've been trained to do that. Stop it. So, yeah. No, and there was not any mail. Well, there was, but it was junk mail. So we got rid of the junk mail. And uh, <laughs> not here we're at now. Um, no boxes? No boxes either. No. What happened to the, 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 the road's not paved anymore out there? What's going on? I don't know. It was a bit of a funny day today. Um, no, nothing. Nick got a box. Didn't think to ask him what was in that. Oh, I think the box was his sprayer thing. Huh? That jet sprayer. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, is that what he was using today? <laughs> I think they were all using it today. Yes. Yes. Such fun. Total fun. Um, so my phone, believe it or not, you'll be glad to hear this. <laughs> Is, uh, it's totally frozen, so it's not... Uh, We've got to worry about supper now. Yeah. I've lost so much supper. I have... If Janine's not here, there's, there's a bowl of food for her. Do you, do you eat that stuff? No, no I can't. Does 
Does anybody know what the dead tree is? They might eat it. It's got broccoli in it. That's why you can't eat it. it. <laughs> I have my own bowl. Yeah, you got a broccoli free bowl. Yeah. Jiminy is fine, and I know that Elena sends um, uh, communication. So he's doing very well. She doesn't send them to me. She does send them to you. They're in your email. Huh? They're in your email. They're not in my email on that thing. Well, they're, they're coming to you somewhere. So we'll have to check check what email it is. Want to look in there? I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't look at my email in here. Because um, there's 1,100. There's a, uh, you see, there's me herein lies the problem. There's 1,100 emails. Oh my gosh. Um, no, we're looking into the, the car thing, so don't worry about that. The puppy we're going to look at is 13 weeks. It says I, it says I have 1,100, but boy, I don't know where they are. Well, they can do that here. Can you search? Is there a search thing? Uh huh? Inbox. Yeah. Toolbox is quite a uh, tool. Some of those are the same ones I have over there. Okay. We've got a lot of emails to work through. So Most of the emails yesterday and today were on how complicated it's getting to be to even look at a Harlequin female. Yes, it's not the easiest process. No, because people have have rigged up the fact that they can they can they can cheat on the whole deal. Uh, yes. And so, uh, are they are they particularly rare harlequins? Yes, it's hard. They're hard to find. Good harlequins hard to find. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that'll be why we're not finding any in rescue. Right. So. It's fine today, isn't it? I don't know. I think Judy was here. I made it Friday. Yeah, she's crossed off Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> so we've done Friday. <laughs> yeah. Cross Friday's, off. Friday's finished. We Sorry, off we've now. moved on now. Oh. Uh, but so why are Harlequin, why is there any, what, what's the reason for Harlequins being rare? They're not. It's not recessive like the blue, uh, but it's a combination of stuff. That, um, the, let's see, what do they call it? The guy with the squares, the Venmo square. Uh -huh. that, don't, that deals with two genes, uh -huh. sort of black and white or black and white, uh -huh. and you get it. Apparently the dogs have six. Oh. And you start screwing those up and you begin odd things. And you get into merles, and between merles and harlequins, they avoid them because the combination of those can produce the light. And they're more prone to being fed. Yeah, those are uh, deaf and black, or, or deaf and blind, and deaf and blind right. can be. Right. Okay. Now, the deaf and blind white Great Dane will produce only harlequins if bred to a something I've forgotten what. Right. It's ridiculous, but um, there was a, a deaf blind harlequin, or white white dog down in New York that was siring all kinds of puppies. They're all harlequins. And that none, was a long time ago. And none of them ended up. No, no. Amazing. It's it's it, uh, there is such a thing as a color chart. I have it. If anybody wants it, it was put out by the Great Dane Society. And I ran our numbers through it, mm. and you can see how close we are to the numbers they have. Yeah. Uh, so when you breed a, a black to a harlequin, you get this, that, you know, and it's right. It, we followed it very, our numbers followed theirs very closely. Right, okay. So if anybody wants to look at it, you're perfectly welcome. Um, so there. Yeah. The color chart. It's the Great Dane Society of America. G something. Well, that's a good question. I know how long a, a, a baby donkey nurses, as long as the mother will put up with it. 
Yeah, right. So there you go. Um, sometimes they can go on as long as 12 months, but I think that's quite unusual. No, I see that. Have you seen it? So you, he's, he's they ill. Don't, they don't quit until she starts kicking. Yeah, and she's very laid back with him. She's very good with him. Oh. And he eats everything. And he eats hay, he eats grass, he eats treats, he yes. eats her grain. Yeah, so. Okay. What happened to your hand? My, that business where Sizzle's, tooth. Sizzle's tooth went in between my fingers just doesn't heal. Yeah. So I've got it all covered up now with special gauze, with gauze with goo on it, you know that gauze oh. with yellow goo? Oh, nice. <laughs> that's in there. So I had to wrap it up. And that's just, all of that is just to try and hold that in there. Yeah. What's the yellow goo? It, it's not bacitracin, but it's neomycin or something. Neosporin? Yeah. No, because that's an ointment, isn't it? Oh, this is an ointment. Yeah, but that, oh, that's maybe a bit different. Oh, uh, that's interesting. It's what they put on the rest of me in the hospital. Oh. Did they give you some of that? Yeah, they gave me a piece of it. You have to cut out little pieces and put it on yeah. the sore spot. Angus is 12 and a half weeks old. Oh, my word. Okay. It seems like he's been here forever, doesn't it? It does. Because he's everywhere. He's, he's super, because I'm taking him up and down the driveway just by himself. He was kind to her today, wasn't he? Was he? It looked to me like he was. No, I, I brought him up and down. I didn't bring her out. I leave her down there. Oh. She stays at the barn, and he just wanders. She doesn't bother. I think it's respite care for the mummy. <laughs> um, so I take him up and down the driveway and he's super fun. He's really he's he's a really nice donkey. I think he'll be super going out and about soon. Because there's there's no um there's no, you know, kicking or I mean he likes the occasional little nibble, you know, and then once he works out it's not good, he's like he stops. And you do have all your fingers, which is good I think. Um but he's a he's a nice wee boy. He's Okay. And he walks nicely. How long are his ears? I have no idea. <laughs> what? How long his ears are. <laughs> Baby donkey size. I don't know. But he's super. So that's been a good day today. Yeah. And I can hear next to like, like doing something with that sprayer. I can't see it. I can't get it over the board. All right, okay. Better not be doing the bit I was going to do. <laughs> something, nothing worse. Okay. So this weekend could be a pretty busy weekend, uh, especially if we go down to Connecticut on Sunday, which we are. Which what? We're going to Connecticut on Sunday. Oh, right. Um, you are. I'm staying here to welcome people. Yes, you are. And we've got anything else going this weekend? Right, well, you're going to bring the pup back with you, right? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Will you do me a wee light leash? What? Will you do me a wee light leash? A wee thin rope with a oh. um, with a, a little small <coughs> hook in it, a clasp on the end of it. Yeah. Why do you want to clasp it? Because it, it's got a wee collar on it at the moment, but we just want a light light leash, not one of our great big okay. restraining elephant ones. Um, okay. Just because it's so small. So, and then... Um, all the, the stuff to put in the car. The thing, I, the thing I wish wasn't happening, but I don't see a way around it is very often a dog will attach itself to the person who takes it away from its home. Janine will be delighted to hear that. Well, I know, so I don't want you handling it. No. You put it in the back. Put it in the back with her, and then I don't know what to do. Well, it'll come straight here. Yeah, right. But I don't want you like Megan. I don't want you doing what you did to that dog. What? Noodles? Noodles. I didn't I did not bring noodles in. That was oh, me. What you're doing with that dog is just you're teaching it to misbehave, but I just I find it. Offensive. It 
just the happiest little dog. It's a very happy dog comes over and jumps all over you and then lies down and lie upside down and I want my belly scratched and I'm gonna claw you. It's your dog, not mine. It's next dog. My, well, my dog's gonna die, I'd have to bring it up. Okay. <laughs> so, it will be in the car. I can't imagine trying to take that dog to a nursing home now. Yeah. He did some start with. Mm-hmm. He did very well. He was out. Because he's friendly. He was out two weeks ago. Jesus. Nobody's had no old people's skin just tears mm-hmm. like it's nothing. Yes, that's true. So that's a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Well, she's a hat and a scratch and a little treason. See, you're, you're getting as bad as I am. I know. Maybe we've got something. <laughs> Maybe we've both got fleas. <laughs> yeah, that could be. That could be. Personally, I blame the animals then. <laughs> Can't possibly be us. Uh, okay, so we'll have a busy weekend as per usual. Yes. And uh, watch the watch the cameras. Yeah. Normally things watch going the on cameras. there. The goats. Do you see Janine put an umbrella out for the goats? Did she? Okay. <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't tried to eat it yet. 